Doctor, we're talking about irritable bowel syndrome, it's abbreviated IBS. What is it? Uh, irritable, bowel, uh, irritable bowel syndrome is a very common condition. In fact, it affects about one in five adult American. Uh, 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 one in five adult American. Uh, this is a condition that causes abdominal bloating, uh, constipation sometimes, diarrhea sometimes, and a lot of people complain about, uh, about having a lot of gas. What causes IBS? Uh, at this time, we don't have a definite explanation as to why uh, people get an irritable bowel syndrome. However, there are three factors that are very important in irritable bowel syndrome. The first factor is the muscles, uh, the muscles that are in the intestine, particularly the colon. These muscles have a tendency to contract more than normal, and so people can get diarrhea. These muscles may contract less than normal, and so people get constipated and they have a lot of bloating. The other important factor is sensitivity. It's been shown that uh, people with irritable bowel syndrome tend to have intestines or colon that tend to be more sensitive to a variety of agents, including food. Finally, stress is a big factor in irritable bowel syndrome. Most patients notice that their symptoms are worse when they are under a lot of stress. How is irritable bowel syndrome diagnosed? Uh, just like I said, uh, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal bloating, these are very common uh, uh, symptoms. So there is no particular symptom that is really unique to irritable bowel, uh, uh, unique to irritable bowel syndrome. Very commonly though, uh, most people will say that they have some changes in their bowel habit, which may be diarrhea, constipation, or having both at the same time. People with irritable bowel syndrome will have constipation. And as it, what I tell people is if you're having problem with constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, abdominal bloating, you need to talk to your doctor. Uh, bec uh, this is very important because there are things that are more serious than irritable bowel syndrome that may be causing this thing. So your doctor may want to run a test like colonoscopy to make sure there's no problem in the colon. Finally, your doctor may also want to do a blood test to uh, exclude or rule out what is called celiac disease, which is another common condition that may present in a similar fashion. How is irritable bowel syndrome treated? Uh, treatment of irritable bowel syndrome is not a one-size-fits-all. We usually will tailor the treatment to what particular symptoms each particular patient is having. One thing that is very clear is that the average American diet is, uh, does not have enough fiber. So we usually encourage people to uh, add fiber to their diet. Give some examples of how you could, how you could readily and easily add fiber to your uh, diet. Uh, the, the easiest way that I tell uh, our patients to do is buy fiber over the counter. You don't need a prescription to buy fiber over the counter. A lot of people tell me, well, I eat enough cereal, my cereal has a lot of fiber in it. You have to eat a lot of cereal to be able to get adequate fiber in it. However, having said that, Vegetables are good uh, sources of, uh, 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 of fiber, and so I tell people to increase how much vegetables they have in their diet, but most people have a lot of trouble doing that, so uh, an easy way to do it is just to buy fiber over the counter, and you don't need a prescription to get that. Okay. Uh, the fiber will help. Uh, the fiber actually works, but it's good if for people who have constipation, it makes them go. For people who have diarrhea, it helps to farm the stool up. And for people that have constipation sometimes, diarrhea sometimes, it helps to smoothen things out so they don't have this up and downhill uh, battle of constipation sometimes and diarrhea uh, uh, sometimes. Also available are medications that are, uh, th these are prescription medications that are available to control or calm down the spasm that is going on in the intestine. Uh, uh, finally, there are, uh, uh, Antidepressants uh, are very commonly used as part of our treatment strategy uh, for irritable bowel syndrome. Why an antidepressant for IBS? Okay. Well, the, the antidepressants are not FDA approved. They're not on the market for treatment of irritable bowel syndrome. However, this group of medications have been shown to potentially influence the nervous activity in the colon, and that's how it helps people with irritable bowel syndrome. Okay. Are there home remedies for irritable bowel syndrome? Uh, uh, not, there is no particular home remedy that I can say that, uh, that is really very helpful. I'm sure a lot of people do different things at home because this is very common, but there's not one particular home remedy that, uh, that, it, that is well known and widely accepted. How serious a disease is IBS? Well, IBS is a serious uh, uh, disease. I just said about one in five uh, uh, 
adult Americans who are, are, are really have irritable bowel syndrome. Mo majority of these people don't come to the attention of the doctor. They just try to do this at home and just suffer through this. So I always encourage people to just seek help because there's help that is available. And I'd also say that this is not like cancer. This is not deadly, but it's a big and major lifestyle changes. The biggest example that I see people tell me is, especially for people that have trouble, they cannot complete their meal. They have trouble going out with family. They have trouble going out with friends to a restaurant because they have to try and rush to the bathroom before the meal is, is completed. The Thanksgiving holiday is coming up. People tell me the same thing. Uh, uh, we're having Thanksgiving dinner with family. I can't stay to complete the meal. I have to run to the bathroom in between meals. So this is a major lifestyle problem. Uh, the other area where this is important is when people have si uh, significant IBS, and fortunately most people don't have it that severe. They may, when they're students especially, this is a disease which about 50% of people with IBS, the disease starts when they're younger than 35. It may affect their ability to go to school. It may affect their ability to go to work. Okay. Is irritable bowel syndrome a permanent condition? Uh, uh, well, irritable bowel syndrome is a chronic condition, which means most people who have this disease will have it for, se for several years. However, how serious and how, uh, uh, how ill people get from this disease tends to vary. I tell my patients uh, the goal of our relationship is to uh, reduce the number of bad days so we can have a lot of uh, good days. Uh, for unknown reason, however, there are people whose disease have been known to completely go away. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome.